Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2024 Mercedes GLE. It comes in different powertrains, but there's a lot new for this year, including a facelift, new technology, and a hybrid powertrain. So we're gonna take a look at this, and in the end, we'll talk about price, pros and cons, and its competitors, so stay with us. Let's start with the front end of this vehicle. First off, I love this green. It is a special color. This vehicle is loaded with all of the options except for the AMG. It is a 4Matic, which is all-wheel drive, and we'll talk about that under the hood in just a moment. Let's get started with the vehicle itself and in front. This midsize luxury SUV comes in 10 standard colors with a curb weight of just over 5,000 pounds. The GLE's class exterior styling is lightly altered for 2024, including a revised front bumper design and updated grille. New lighting elements, which are LED and restyled wheels. Behind this large Mercedes logo is all your safety features, but this grill is different. It has all the Mercedes stars inside, and that's new for 2024. Standard on the GLE 450 is 19-inch wheels. Our test vehicle has the AMG 22-inch black wheels, which I think look really great with that nice AMG logo. This is not an AMG, but it does ride on Pirelli all-season tires. The tires are a 285-40R22. The rear tires are 325-3522s, so you get that wider stance in the back. You will note the body color fender flares and a running board, nice and sleek, as well as the black roof rails. Again, when you buy the different trim levels, you're going to get different features, so make sure to check out the 350, the 450, and the 550. Of course, the AMG is my personal favorite. Coming around to the back, you're gonna see that 4Matic logo. That means it's all-wheel drive. The Mercedes logo here and GLE 450 and the chrome tailpipes. Really nice, really clean. And that's what this vehicle is about. It's about luxury. It's about a performance SUV. 360-degree camera when you put this vehicle into reverse. Very nice and different adjustments depending upon what you need. And it also has the park assist right there. The GLE seats five or optionally seven if you order that third row seating. Heated seats in the second row and four zone climate control are standard, as well as power adjustable second row seating. Third row seating is a bit tight, but your location for your controls are still where they would be traditionally on any Mercedes. And that would be on the door, as well as three seating memories, heated and ventilated seats. The passenger side also has the three memory seat settings. The multi-contour front seats also include massaging, that's part of an upgraded package, as well as the rapid heating feature that's in the front seats. And also in the upper door panels, heated and cooled cup holders are part of a package as well as a heated steering wheel. Heated second row and power second row as well as third row is part of an additional package. Going into the second row, you've got netting, as well as your climate control and two USB-C charge ports. The Burmeister audio speakers are in the second row, as well as heated and adjustments on the door for both sides. There is location for two child safety seats and cup holders when you fold on that 40, 20, 40 second row. It's important to note that this is real leather and that is part of an upgrade package. There's a lot of new features inside the Mercedes GLE, and that includes two 12.3 inch digital dash displays with the Mercedes-Benz user experience, or I call it MBUX, M-B-U-X interface, which includes wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is standard. Our premium package on our test vehicle includes the Burmeister audio. There are a lot of additional packages you can purchase, including the warmth and comfort package, which includes the heated armrests and the upper power panels at $450. The new steering wheel has added touch sensitive controls, which you're gonna use as part of your safety features, new two-tone upholstery options, standard 64 color ambient lighting and optional giant panoramic roof, which our test vehicle has. Soft closed doors, panoramic roof, acoustic comfort package and leather upholstery, as well as in-car Wi-Fi and a gigantic head-up display. Those are all additional options. The exclusive trim, which is on our test vehicle, is $1,600, includes ventilated seats, the high-end audio, the Dolby Atmos with sound, and the Mercedes-Benz augmented video for navigation. The Pinnacle package, which is on our test vehicle, is $5,600, includes LED intelligent lighting system, multi-contour front seats with massage, rapid heated features for the front seats, air balance cabin, as well as the fragrance package, which I do like, heated and cooled cup holders, a gigantic multicolor head-up display, and animated Mercedes star-patterned logo projector beams. 
The night package on our test vehicle is $400. That includes the gloss black exterior accents, the 20 inch AMG wheels, black accents and black roof rails. The winter package is $450, includes a heated steering wheel and heated windshield washer system. The navigation system is right here and it's very easy to use. In addition, you can have your phone. I've already connected my Apple CarPlay. The audio system is Sirius XM, FM, AM, as well as your wireless connections, media, the Mercedes-Benz apps, which you can choose which ones you want and you can add additional ones very easily. Mercedes Me Store. When you go into comfort, you've got your massaging seats for both driver and passenger side, your seat adjustments, which you can make any way you'd like, and your ambient lighting, which you can choose as well as additional effects, which would be multicolor, your greeting, your climate and so forth can be adjusted as you prefer. Seat kinetics are also an option. The one thing that makes this Mercedes-Benz truly capable is its off-road prowess. This vehicle truly has the ability to go off-road and there are off-road drive modes that go with it. And this is really great graphics. You've got your hill descent, traction control, your park assistant, all your cameras. You can see all your different drive modes, your tire pressure information, tire temperature, all the positioning if you go off-road. I don't know if you live near a desert or something along those lines, but also your suspension settings can be adjusted here as well. And you can see your elevation really nicely done. And there's also a score. So if you start your journey, you can track it backwards with a crumb trail. Additionally, you can track your consumption, the vehicle information, which I think is great graphics, nice and crystal clear, as well as your engine information if you plan on using it in a more spirited manner. Going into the settings, you can choose your different driver settings, your active steering assist. This is all part of safety. Much of it is standard, but there's also much of it that is expensive when you purchase the additional safety package. Standard car to X communication, active brake assist, Mercedes-Benz emergency call service, LED daytime running lamps, as well as adaptive high beams, cross wind assist, blind spot assist. There's so much. It's quite a long list, but the optional features are $1,950, which our test vehicle has, which includes not just this. See, it explains everything, but also your collision avoidance, your active lane keeping, cross traffic alert, emergency stopping. It has all of the pre-safe plus packages. You can turn them on or off. You have your assistances here if you wish to have them. And then you have a camera also so that you can see what's going on. It's very nicely done. It is a little bit on the expensive side, but I will tell you, Safety is something that you can't replace, so I highly recommend getting all the safety that you can possibly afford. All of your system settings are in here. They're easy to use, as well as additional information and your owner's manual. Below this 12.3 inch screen is beautiful aluminum trimmed ventilation. Further down, you have your climate control, which is pretty normal and we're used to. And then below this beautiful cover with the aluminum detail, there's wireless charging and two USB-C charge ports and then that heated and cooled cup holder, which you can just press the button for cool or for heated. Keep your drinks cold or keep them warm. Further back is your standard controllers. If you've ever driven a Mercedes Benz before, you're very comfortable with that. You've got your dynamic drive modes here from individual sport, comfort, eco, and off-road. All of that is right here. This is your touchpad. You've got your cameras, your car information, and your favorites. On this side, you've got your volume, navigation, radio, and your phone. Further back, if you decide to go off-road, you do have the ability to have this vehicle rise and lower just by pressing that lever. Press this button, and inside the glove box, I've got a bunch of junk right now, but it is a split center console, very nice. And there is also tons of storage in the doors as well as in the center console and the glove box. In front of you on this new Mercedes-Benz steering wheel has paddle shifters as well as your normal controls. And they've made the home button so that each side of the gauges can be customized. And you can also go into the different gauges and choose which one you prefer. The beautiful detail inside this Mercedes-Benz is really what sells these vehicles. People love the true aluminum materials, the real wood and the real leather, as well as the choice of your ambient lighting. That's my favorite color, purple. Everything is power, everything is easy to use, and the controls are really nice quality. And you can tell the difference in this vehicle versus other cars in the category based on the quality of the build. This gigantic panoramic roof 
lets the sun in, as you can see. We are here in Monterey, California, where we are covering the Ren Sport Porsche reunion, which we will cover on a separate video. Under the hood of our test vehicle is a three liter inline six cylinder engine that's turbocharged with a mild hybrid drive. 375 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. It's backed by a nine speed automatic transmission with dynamic select for different drive modes. Fuel economy is 22 miles to the gallon combined with premium unleaded fuel required. Zero to 60 time is 5.3 seconds with a towing capacity of 7,700 pounds. You will also note that there is some carbon underneath the hood. Inside the Mercedes-Benz GLE 450, this mild hybrid gives you really good acceleration off the line, but it is super easy to drive, which I think is one of the things that people really like about a vehicle like this. This vehicle offers luxury, it offers performance, and of course, that off-road capability I keep talking about, because some people do take these things off-road. What's the percentage? Very, very small. This is a really nice car that makes a statement. Yes, I know that some people just take this to go pick up the kids or go to the airport or go to work or whatever it might be, but this vehicle offers so much safety features that customers that buy these vehicles really love what they're getting for the money and that's all about the value in this vehicle. Now, yes, it is an expensive vehicle and you're in this price range and especially this vehicle that's loaded up at $97,000. As far as the value play, well, this is a really expensive vehicle, but it does start at a pretty reasonable price. But if you want all the additional safety features, the extra options and so forth, it does get a bit on the pricey side. And that's what we'll talk about when we get to the end on that pros and cons. But driving this vehicle around the hills in beautiful area of Northern California, you can really see the safety features and how they integrate with you and how easy they are to use, turn them on, turn them off, whatever you prefer. But as far as ride comfort in the comfort mode, really like the ride. This all wheel drive gives you all the power down to the ground, gives you towing capacity that you might want. It also has the gesture control, which I should not be using because I talk with my hands. I'm not Italian, but I do talk with my hands. I guess it just sort of comes along with doing all these car reviews. But the vehicle itself is really enjoyable to drive. We've had it for a week and we've really enjoyed this, the overall performance aspects. Also, when you put it into that sport mode by toggling that switch into sport, you're gonna get the instant change of not just the suspension, but also of the shift points and the driving performance. And you can change the gauges in front of you as well. So you can have the sport gauges if you prefer. Would I put this on the track? No. Could you put it on the track? Sure, if you really wanted to. It's not, it's not a track car. On a track car, Mercedes-Benz makes vehicles for that such occasion. But this vehicle is really, like I said, got the capacity for cargo, which we'll talk about in a second. Also, just that overall driving comfort and good performance. That mild hybrid gives you really good fuel economy for a vehicle of this size. And I have to say, it's a looker. I really like the car, especially this unique color. It is an additional cost, but it's still worth it. Love the exhaust sound too. Really nice exhaust note. And I think that's kind of important if you want a more spirited ride in the sport mode, or you're thinking, you know what? I don't want to use a lot of fuel. That's okay. You just drop it down to that eco mode, and then you're going to have a change in ride comfort, steering input, as well as the exhaust note. One thing Mercedes-Benz offers is you press this button on the steering wheel. Hey, Mercedes, tell me a joke. What did the grape say when it got stepped on? Nothing. It just let out a little wine. Ah, uh, see? Sometimes it'll do that. Sometimes it'll tell you stories as well. What can I do for you? Tell me a story. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epic of belief. It was the epic of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. It was the winter of despair. Okay, that's a not story. That's just a bunch of titles. Anyway, it does offer that integration, and that is something that you will need, especially while you're driving and want to pay attention to what you're doing. You can press the button on the steering wheel, 
and Mercedes will help you. When it comes to cargo space, you've got 33.7 cubic feet of storage. Fold down that second row, which is 40, 20, 40, and you will have 74.9 cubic feet of cargo space. Our test vehicle is ordered with third row seats. As we said, they're kind of tight back there, but it is good to have if you've got kids that need to get into the third row. It's also important to note there is no spare tire, but a tire inflation product. There are a lot of updates on this vehicle and for 2024, the Mercedes-Benz GLE 454 Matic starts at $69,000. Add on all the goodies like the special paint, the AMG wheels, the technology, the special seating and all those other packages. And this test vehicle came in at $97,300. That's what makes it expensive. You start off at a very low base price and you can add up pretty quickly, which is pretty much true with all the German cars, which are some of the competitors. Now there are a lot of pros and cons and competitors. The competitor list is listed down below in the description, plus links to all those reviews so that you can check them all out before you make a decision. On the pros and cons side, I love the new technology, really improved, really love that Mercedes-Benz user experience or the m Bucks system, whatever you wish to call it. Seats are very comfortable, love the interior colors as well. And the third row is a bit tight, which is one of the negatives. And of course the price of can easily build up from a low entry price to a very expensive vehicle to get something like our test vehicle. Now I'm sure you have additional questions. Put that down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to start the conversation. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. We do appreciate it. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description as well as for the website, the podcast, our social media, and the book. Thank you so much for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.